Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video on the Flat Out Media channel and today we are in my 2005 Ford GT which I don't think I've ever driven in a video before. I know I won it in a video but then I've never driven it. So I figured I'd take it out for a drive today with you guys and one of the really funky things is look at the dash. I think the speedometer is way over there. What the heck is it doing over there? I want it like in front of me when I drive, not over to the side of me. But uh, yeah, so I figured I'd just take this thing out for a drive. We knocked our mirror off, I guess. And we are now at our cross country event that we're gonna start off the day with. So let's go ahead in and let's set up the event. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are on the start line, and away we go. There's a funky livery on that F-Pace right there. We'll have to... I don't know what that is. It was some purple thing with faces on it, and... It was definitely interesting. As we are now into the aerodrome, and oh, here we go. Here we go. Like a bravery thing. What would you rather do? Cut through the drainage pipes. Oh, as we get rear-ended there. Whoopsie daisy. I would take the jumps, but I'm not sure about this track yet. I haven't driven it before. So, oh, hello car. That's going to be one of those things that I'm just going to... I might get braver and take it on the second lap or even the third lap as we go on to the second lap now but I'm not just I'm just not brave enough at this precise moment and to be honest I've never been up to the aerodrome before so I wasn't exactly sure what to expect from it but from what it looks like so far it's actually kind of neat As first place is kind of pulling away here. And he's going underneath, so just for the sake of time. Oh, there's a car stuck in a wall there. Third is literally right on our tail. Yeah, I'm pretty sure staying on the ground is quicker there, so... Seeing that we're in kind of a tight battle here. I'll just stick to what I think is quickest. Oh yeah, that was a beautiful lineup for this. Absolutely beautiful. Of course, it means that there was a terrible run through there. You know what, first place is going for the jump, so I will too. Well, please say I have enough speed, and I do, thank god. There we go. Down, and we actually lost a place off of it. Actually saying that, we have a wicked run, and we're actually going to finish in second place. That was insanely close. And then there was a, the Volkswagen Touareg down in last place, which was stuck in a wall. Just wonderful. Just wonderful. Here we go. Jaguar F paces. Running the whole front of the grid once again. 14,000 credits off of that. And almost 4,000 influence as we get almost up to tier 5 of cross country. So close. So guys, I think what we're going to do, you know what, we're going to head down to the Meadows Sprint right away. And I'll just drive down there with you guys once again. Because why the heck not, right? Why the heck not? It's only like a kilometer, so I would have literally just cut the film just to start it immediately again, so. 
Might as well just take you guys along for the drive. And here we are at the event, so let's go ahead and let's set it up. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so here we are. Let's go ahead and start it up. I'm sorry if you hear noises. That's my little brother and my stepdad. Coming downstairs to play. Of course. But, uh, yeah. Off we go here in our Ford GT. I decided I would take this back out. Because, of course, I had barely driven it. So, might as well put some time in on it. We are right now chasing down a Lamborghini of some sort. As we run a bit wide there. But able to hold it. As we are now running along the beachfront in a blizzard in a bunch of retro supercars. Alright. As we are up into fifth place now after shoving our way up the inside of a lot of cars there. Lamborghini seems to have forgotten we were on the inside and then suddenly remembered as he almost spins himself on the front end of us. And second and third are fighting up ahead but first is kind of running away. Tap on the brakes a bit there because we were approaching the rear end of the Porsche quite quickly. But we get past them no problem. Sorry for the lag there guys. But Nothing I can do about it. Oh, come on. Alrighty. As we come up and over here, around this corner, down and around this corner, we're racing around the aerodrome area at the moment. As that is in. F1 in first place as we pass the Ferrari and with 15% left in the race can we get past the F1? We left the door open a little bit there so we push him a little bit as he closes the door on us and it looks like he's going to be able to get first place. We secure a second though in our Ford GT which I'm pretty happy about. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and let's continue. It was quite a neat looking F1 too. Purple, kind of a neat color. 15,000 total credits off of that, thank you very much. Influence, 4,000. As we both wrap, uh, like level up in both. Pretty cool. Did we get another wheel spin? Come on, a car money, a car money. A car or money. A 97 or a 97 Civic Type R. You know what? I'll take that. I will most definitely take that. What I quite like about your style of driving is that I can prepare each of your qualifying rounds so far in advance. New events have been added to your schedule. There we go. So guys, what we're going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead um, and you know what, actually we did two races, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to end off the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, right, yes, we have no more wheel spins, so yeah, we can't do anything else. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment if you like. I will see you guys all in the next one. Goodbye.